This will be a quick video with an introduction to some of the functions of your financial calculator. Knowing how to use your calculator will drastically increase your speed when answering questions. That means you're less stressed about time and more confident about your calculated answers. The two calculators approved for use in a CFA exam are the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus and the Hewlett Packard 12C Financial Calculator. If you are wondering about bringing in your old calculator into a CFA exam, then don't. These are the only two calculators approved by CFA Institute and nothing else will be allowed. Okay, the first thing you need to do with a brand new calculator is to look at the number of periods in a year. Some calculators come preloaded with 12 periods in a year, which is great for amortization schedules and monthly compounding applications, but it is not going to be appropriate for everything we do. To change this to one period per year, follow this series of keys. Press the second function key and then press the IY key to get the PY function. Then type 1 and press enter. The display will then read PY equals 1.0. To then get out of this programming mode, you simply press the second function key and then the CPT compute key to get the quit function. Now when looking at the time value of money section of this course, these five keys will become very important. N represents the number of compounding periods. IY is the interest rate per compounding period, or the periodic rate. PV is the present value. PMT is the constant cash flow amount per period. And FV is the future value. How these keys are used to perform a time value of money calculation will depend on the question and we will go into some detail there when we get stuck into the material.